I have an apron on already, so I figured I'd just jump right into it. Um, it's been a crazy Monday over here, but I did not forget that it's Meatless Monday. Uh, what did I call it last week? Meatless Madness uh, Monday in March. And we're going to jump right into it because I got a million things going on. So I'm going to make a quick vegetarian dinner, a little Indian flair on it. Um, but welcome to week two. Week two, we're going to do a little coconut curry lentil or basmati rice. So I have a lot of the prep done because I was cooking other things. Um, I have some basmati rice already cooked. Um, here are our lentils. They're rinsed. We're going to do this in a pot. I have shallots and garlic cut up, some fresh cilantro, scallions, curry. I also have this other Thai curry, green curry that I use once in a while, and coconut milk. We're going to get this going because it takes a little bit of time for these lentils to start cooking down. The one thing I didn't have out was chicken stock. Look at the talent. I can do this only looking at you. Um, so I'm going to grab some chicken stock because we are going to use, I use this stuff, the Coco Lopez Goya coconut. Um, you can definitely buy coconut curry sauce um, at the grocery store. I found it at ShopRite. And then I said, you know what? Not taking the easy way out this time. I'm going to make a curry sauce. I'm a little intimidated by curry, so. Um, but the chicken stock's just to thin it out a little bit to let the lentils cook down. Hot pan. Let's get these shallots and garlic sauteing. Want to make them nice and translucent. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Once you get a nice sweat, just gonna add a little bit of stock to glaze the pan. I'm gonna get this to a simmer before I add the curry to start opening it up. Just a couple tips. Um, so these are just actually the Goya lentils. I always suggest rinsing your lentils. I rinse my rice. Um, remember, this stuff grows in the ground, and you'll be surprised how many rocks you find. So I just put them in a colander, give them a quick rinse, and let them dry. All right, so we have this almost going to a spim simmer. Um, a little bit less is more with curry, and I want to open it up in the broth. So we're going to put and do half and half. It's around a tablespoon of the traditional curry and the Thai green curry stuff. So I want to get this simmering, then I'm going to add my lentils in. Disclaimer, I don't eat spicy food. It does not, me and spicy food, we don't like each other. So I'm gonna make this, uh, that's why I did coconut curry on the sweet side. If you don't wanna add the coconut um, milk into it and you just wanna do it with the chicken stock, cook the lentils and spice it up, feel free. Add some fresh veggies to it, scallions, mint, cilantro, that all goes great, fresh lime juice. We're gonna play it safe over here. All right, so that's been going for a while. I'm gonna add my lentils. Um, it smells really good. I'm not the biggest fan of Indian food. I think I'm not a big fan because I get nervous cooking it, um, but it smells really good. So we're gonna add the lentils. I'm gonna bring this to simmer, and then I'm gonna add our coconut milk. I have it on low. It's just a constant simmer, constantly stirring it. Um, once the lentils are pretty much almost cooked, I have some fresh, cilantro and I'm gonna give a nice fresh lime squeeze to this before we put it over our rice for dinner. I tasted my curry. It needed something. I couldn't figure out what it needed at first so I did a little research and sometimes a little honey makes it perfect. Let's check out these lentils. Ooh, they smell good. Ooh, okay, so they are pretty much fully cooked. I'm gonna taste them for salt, but first I'm gonna add some fresh lime juice to it. And I'm gonna add in some fresh cilantro. Give it a stir, I'm gonna shut the heat off, and I'm gonna season it salt and pepper. I'm gonna get ready to plate this up for dinner. Well, besides that it's steaming hot, it took what, 30 minutes to cook down the lentils? Um, you can make the rice ahead of time. Just want to say this was super easy. Um, you got to be a curry fan, I guess, to do it. There's a lot of people who do, as being vegetarian, like it. And pretty good. Not my favorite dish I've ever made. Has a little heat to it. The coconut milk and the honey definitely bring out the sweetness of it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more lime juice just to brighten it up. And we're going to plate it over some basmati rice. Um, another, just drop that in there. Another thing I read with a lot of curries is um, fresh mint, 
really brightens up the flavor. Um, I don't have any at home, but I think adding that maybe as a garnish would be really nice to this. So let's plate it up. So, I mean, I tried to stage it pretty for a picture, but over the basmati rice, um, I gave a little fresh uh, lime on top, basmati rice on the bottom. Like I said, you can, I did scallions, you can do mint, and before we eat, I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze. Ooh, let's get into this.